Okay, greetings and salutations, friends. Hi, it's Nikki. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new. I am doing things again. I am going to do a little bit of not quite cash stuffing, and I am going to mess around with this budget sheet that came with my fancy dancy cash stuffing binder. Here's what happened. My youngest was saving up for an iPad and we made certain arrangements where I would pay $80 of it and they would pay the remainder and they had saved up their portion. So they're not getting the newest and the best, but they are getting good and I'm proud of them for saving the money. They gave me the cash and I will, I then made the purchase. I don't know if I'm going to need to stuff this, if I'm going to be able to stuff this on the challenges or if I'm going to need to deposit into the bank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the binder for now. I'm going to count it and put it in the binder and save it until a month from now and see where I am to be able to stuff it or whether it needs to get used in the meantime. So let's count. Two, four, six, eight, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So it's 174 dollars. And because I don't have the uh, fancy dancy cash sorters. We're just gonna set it kind of off to the side here and I don't really know a better way than to just stick it separately into these envelopes. Ultimately that's not how I hope to use this budget binder but this is what I have. This is where it's going to get set aside for the time being. So there's all the ones. I am kind of inclined to think that we may end up need to spend some of this on things like gas or backup groceries. We go through <sighs> seven gallons of milk a week in this house, which is a lot of money. And everyone swears up and down that they don't drink very much milk. And in fact, the only one not drinking it is me. But on Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to need more milk. Okay. That is that. So the other thing that came with this binder is this little budget sheet. And it has room for income bills or expenses, planned envelopes, sinking funds, and extra debt. I don't know if all this is going to fit on here, but we're going to give it a crack. And I am actually going to change because I know now what variable expenses are. No, wait. Sinking funds? Oh, no. Oh no, Ryan told me, he explained it. Variable expenses are the ones that come up long-term. Fudge nuggets, I, I'm gonna say variable expenses. Even though that sounds like the things that vary all the time, that's why it's called variable. I can at least start this. So source is me, source is partner. We each have 40 hour a week jobs. So me planned is 990 his plan is let's see here 14 1390 13, actually because I asked him to move hundred dollars to his personal savings every paycheck which is every two weeks so income total is zero eight 
three, two. Yes, month. Let's see here. June 23. Mm, I'm probably getting this wrong already. It doesn't matter. Okay, so bills or expenses, bills. The mortgage. 790. Student loans. 280. Car payment. Let's do M for mine and P for partner. That's not going to make sense to me later because of what my partner's name is, but we're going to do it. Discover. So in the video that Ryan did for me, breaking this down a little bit so it made more sense, he said that I should put as much as possible towards this Discover, and I agree. I am no stranger to debt and paying off credit card debts. I spent five years spent paying off $53,000 worth of credit card debt in a debt management plan. So I know getting rid of this as soon as possible is important. As is this hospital bill, which is 150, I will be able to verify all of this, what remains as bills come in this month. So cell phones, it's 150. Electric is about 90 and we aren't into the heart of air conditioning season yet, so it might not be too bad. Internet, I need to still try and figure out a way to bring this down. I don't know why I just, 125, oh, I hope I mean I know what that means. Okay, oil did come down. It is now 320 a month and the way oil works for us is we have summer winter hookup, which means our furnace works all year round, heating the hot water and heating the pipes that go through, we have radiators. So we have oil that we purchase throughout the year and it is one of those expenses that it's like, you can't really schedule, but the oil delivery place will do a plan for you and look at what your expenditures were in the last year, look at the projected prices of gas, and give you a budget for paying every month so that you have something you can count on a little bit. I love this even though there's an extra fee in it because it lets me just have a number. This year probably could have been the year where I switched it from the budget plan to paying when we needed it, but I didn't switch in time and it just gives me another year to figure out budgety things and maybe get a month ahead and then have it all sorted out. I'm not there yet. That's why we have oil. Natural gas is a possibility as is an electric bill. We still have an electric bill because electricity, but we don't get natural gas in our house at the current time. We could if we wanted to pay to have it installed it may be more cost effective. I, it's just impossible to, for me to sort that out it has been a struggle and not something I'm ready to deal with yet. So I haven't. Okay, what else? Gas, we're gonna say 60 a week. Uh, wait, 60 a week. Mm. We're doing monthly bills, Audible. And I probably can pause that now. I have a bunch of books that, I'm, that I've got in my queue to listen to. It's time to pause it again, I believe. Streaming, 31 a month. Okay, and insurance is 112. Okay, now, variable expenses. I can't remember what the word is, the ones that if you pay your insurance like every six months, it becomes a variable expense instead of a fixed expense. So I'm just counting these as the, yeah. So gas for this whole month, uh, six times four is 240. Um, I've already paid trash, so I don't have to pay that. So does that go on there? I don't think it does. Let's do water sewer. 30, 40, 40, let's say 45 a month. 
triple A. I didn't put that on this side, did I? No. All right, 132 a year. It's 12, 15 bucks a month. Mm, Patreon. This is me supporting other YouTubers. I follow one Hermitcraft Let's Player. I follow one commentary channel and the other is a small business anti-scam, anti-MLM book writing channel. Lots of uh, essays, long essays. Okay, we'll put groceries here and we're gonna say 500. I don't <sighs> this doesn't feel right either I mean it I don't think I have this right I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna come back and look at this another time because I clearly need to do more research I hope to be able to come back and do some actual cash stuffing. I've, as mentioned, am moving $100 to my personal savings every paycheck, and that is becoming my disposable income. If I want to go get fast food, if I want to get coffee in the morning, if I want to get pizza for the family, if my husband wants to do that, that's where that money is coming from from our personal accounts they're the things that i don't have budget categories for i don't have a budget category for eating out right now i probably should we do it once in a while and by i say eating out i mean bringing food in and getting drive through but i don't know i need to find s <sighs> does anybody have any suggestions for some really good budget printables i know about the budget mom and i have not made it a priority to get that printed out yet when I'm at work I tend to forget that it is a priority until I come home and no longer have access to a printer I is if anybody else has suggestions of places I could go free ones pay ones honestly I need someone else's structure right now I think to keep me on track and getting a budget nailed down this year like an actual one that works and not whatever this stuff is is really important to me to kind of feel like I'm pulled together in my 45th year Ugh. wish me luck for right now it's not a total waste I'm not throwing it away I'm not throwing anything away I am just gonna hang on to it and I'm gonna figure it out just not right now apparently Thanks for hanging in there with me through this little bit of chaos. And I'm really looking forward to pulling things together. I really am. And to do more cash stuffing. So yeah, if you, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you so very much for watching thus far. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're not having a fantastic day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. Bye.